What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. I know I haven't uploaded in like five days, but you know schools and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already heard the story from five other YouTubers. But in today's video, we got another episode of Mike Mail. We got two very special packages, both coming from the same guy. His name is Josh Mitch Number Number. I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, but we got two packages here. I traded some good figures for these figures. I'm going to save this one for last because it's very special. He decided to send it in a separate package because it's so Gucci. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box off camera because I don't want it to uh, mess up or something like that. So, uh, yeah. So, boom, we got it open. Let's go ahead and open it up. Take a look at the first figure. And it is an Elite Custom John Cena, I'm pretty sure. Because um, he, like, painted the belt a little bit. And this Iron Band's blue and red. I, I don't really know what the attire is. But, um, cool. Cool, cool, I guess, you know. It's not bad, but, you know, it's nothing special. I'm moving on. We'll take a look at this one. This is, if you can't tell what it is already, it is, I believe, the Lost Legend. Chris Jericho. I had this figure at one point and I sold it, I'm pretty sure, because I was already getting the exclusive one. And he had it for trade, so I took it off his hands. He even did like a little paint job on the face, so he has a goatee. Pretty cool. Still love this attire. You know, it doesn't compare to the exclusive, but it's still pretty Gucci. Uh, the next figure is a figure I've wanted for quite a long time, so I think it is still his best figure to date. And it is the Elite 40, Sami Zayn. I've had this figure one time, and when I got it, it was all chipped up because I got it in a trade, and the guy wasn't very trustworthy. But I finally got one completely new because when he sent me the picture, it was mock, and he said if I wanted it, I took it off his hands. Of course, I'm going to probably um, remove the knee pads, but this is, t in my opinion, the best Sami Zayn figure still. Love the attire. Everyone complains about the chest hair, but I still like it. Still, I think this is his best head scan. Just represents Sami Zayn's personality so much. But, yeah, pretty happy to have this figure finally. Pretty awesome. Wait, wait. There is more. Next up, a guy who I'm starting to like a lot more. You know, you can call me a bandwagoner if you want. But, you know, I'm not his biggest fan. Haven't been Roman Reigns fan since the fucking Indies. Oh, my God, no. But ever since this feud with John Cena, you know, I still don't like that he beat The Undertaker and all that jazz. But I, I'm starting to really like Roman Reigns a little bit now with the whole John Cena feud. I still hope Cena beats him. But, you know, Roman Reigns has um, impressed me lately. It is the Elite 38 Roman Reigns. Gonna be getting a custom made out of this by a certain somebody. Pretty cool. Another figure in here, one that I've kind of been um, waiting for because I'm going to have to make a promo Brock Lesnar. Probably going to be out of this figure too. Um, it is the Elite 37 Brock Lesnar. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be adding track pants from the Elite 30 Brock Lesnar I used to have and then swapping some regular arms uh, onto it with no gloves and it'll be a promo Lesnar. I don't know if I'll use this shirt, probably not. I'll probably use a Suplex City shirt from the GameStop one, but this head scan, I don't think I've ever owned, no I have, I've owned this head scan. It's fucking funny as fuck, look at that. Uh, moving on here once again. There's still more guys, there's still more. We got a cinder block just in a baggie, nothing special. Um, and here we have a, another, um, something fell out, but we have another Elite Roman Reigns, I believe this is the Elite 26 Roman Reigns, I've never owned this figure surprisingly, a uh, reason why I think it's Elite 26 is because he has no glove on, and it's just a bare arm shield version of Roman Reigns, has the Elite 38 head scan, but still, um, and I don't think it has the whole... I don't know. No, this is the Elite 33. I don't fucking know. I know it has the bare arms, so these arms came from either a basic or the Elite 26. Uh, still pretty cool. I don't know if I use this for a promo Roman Reigns or I'll just use it as a shield Roman Reigns and get a Rollins and Ambrose to go with it. But, um, pretty cool. Still, nonetheless. Got a John Cena tribute to the True Pat. Maybe that's what goes on to John Cena. I'm assuming it is. Um, we got a bunch of fucking parts. Um, no? Probably just give these to my boy BEW because I don't fucking use shoulders and stuff like that. But you never know. I look through them, see what's special. Um, there's some other things in here. I got a knee pad, a beanie to go with Lesnar. But the 
Oh, what the fuck? There's more? Uh, another Roman vest, another Roman head, another knee pad. But probably the best thing out of this box of figures, besides the other package I got, it is these Kevin Owens. Because if you didn't know, I'm a big fan of Kevin Owens, and this is has a custom cloth NXT Kevin Owens shirt. I've always wanted to get a Kevin Owens cloth shirt and put it on a figure, but I haven't found one or bought one yet. And, oh, this cloth is really nice. This is his NXT attire, as you can tell. Really awesome. No Velcro either. This is very, very nice. It feels so good. I don't know who made it. If he made it, I'm not 100% sure. And it is the Elite 43 attire. What I'm probably going to do is... I Actually, I'm probably going to do this. I'm going to swap on my fix-up Kevin Owens arms with the upper arm Eric Rowan onto it and I'm gonna swap that awesome basic head scan I have onto it and then I'll send you guys and then I'll show you guys at the end of this video. So boom that is pretty cool. That's probably the best thing out of all of the stuff I showed in that box. But guys wait there's more the very special one which is in here. Let's go ahead and open it up right now. Ah uh, never mind gotta take it out of the ring. Because you know it's um it's pretty annoying. But uh uh yeah I don't think I'm going to pause the video, because I've already got it open. So, boom, the boom, boom, boom. This figure is very special. It's a very, I guess you can say, rare figure. You can probably already know what it is by the title of the video. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It is the hyped about figure that everyone knows about. The Elite 12 Kane. And he said it was in perfect condition, and yes sir, I believe it is in almost mint condition, perfect condition. Dang, there's been a lot of talk about this figure ever since I started collecting, everyone's been talking about the Elite 12K and Wad Figs hyped it up and everything. Dang, pretty nice, pretty nice. It doesn't rattle, it doesn't look like anything's loose. Nope. The face scan looks pretty Gucci. The mask, I mean. Okay, it doesn't want to fucking focus. Oh well. But dang, guys. I never thought I would own this figure. I really did not really think I would ever, ever own this figure. Pretty awesome. So yeah, guys. Pretty awesome figure. I'm not going to do a review. Or I'm not going to spend seven minutes on it like some people. The legs are good. This figure is like fucking perfect. This is very surprising. Um, but now I'm going to do a few fix up with some of the figures you've seen I get and I'll show you them and then the outro and then all that. But thank you Josh Mitch for all these awesome figures. I'll probably say it again at the end of the video. But I'm going to go do some fix ups and then I'm going to show you guys the finished products at the uh, right now. So guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I know I said I was going to show fix-ups and stuff, but uh, I was wrong. I didn't have time to do it. Last night I was pretty busy, and I wanted to get a video up by Sunday, and today's Sunday, the day you're watching this. Um, I still have to do a few things. I'm getting that Roman made into a custom. I still have to swap the arms and head with that Owens. I have to add the track pants and swap the arms with that Lesnar, and the Elite 12 can is just awesome. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of rushed, but I did want to get a video out by Sunday by the end of the weekend, which is what I'm doing. Follow me on Instagram at Mike the Wrestling Collector. I think I'm five subscribers away from 800 or seven or eight. I'm about to hit 800 subscribers, guys. Road to 1K continues. I feel like we're gonna hit it pretty soon. Month, month, two months, maybe three months. I don't know. And I think I'm about to hit 2,500 on Instagram. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support lately. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out.